Okay, time to take a look at the Nadaj inspection camera. Oh, that's nice. So this actually has a full-on clamshell case, and it's got a carrying handle on it. So this is actually nice. Most inspection cameras that I see, they got a really long cable that's going out of it. And for some situations, you need that, like if you need to make a really long run. Most of the time, though, you just need to have something like this. And because you're not going to have all that extra cable, you're not going to worry about where to put it. You're just winding it up or just having it getting tangled in your way. So this, in my opinion, is actually a much more workable size. Now, the really cool thing about this, there is a wheel right here. And if we turn that, that actually moves the head back and forth. So if you needed to peek around a corner, you can do stuff with this that you're not gonna be able to do with most inspection cameras. Now, the next thing that makes this stand out is that it just has a very large screen. Most of these things, they have a very tiny screen, which is you know, most of the time usable, but as I get older, I need every advantage I can get. So the whole shell is a nice rubber coated material. It actually feels very nice in the hand. And we've got, oh, that's cool. So it looks like it actually comes with a micro SD card and that is a 32 gigabyte card. And we got a spot for USB-C for charging. And then we got our navigation buttons on the front. Now that is a nice large screen. So it looks like we've got a cap. Oh, that's cool. So it has a full on ring light around the camera to make sure that you can actually see what you're pointing it at. And the cable does stay relatively in shape. So if we need to take this thing, we need to push it down a long run. We don't have to worry about that thing curling up on itself. We can actually zoom in pretty far with this thing, which is excellent because if we're going to be running this thing into a tube, we need to be able to see what we're looking at when we're very close to it. So let's just put that in a case. That is pretty neat. So now if we get to a corner, <laughs> I can actually peek that around the corner. That is so cool. So let's go ahead and take a picture of that. So this is for the lights. So if we want to turn those lights off, we can do that. Now we got zoom. So if we want to get a little bit closer to the action, if we can't physically move the camera, we can do that. We got menu, hit okay. There we go. We can see our picture right there. Change resolution. So we got 1920 by 1080 by default. You can also use 1280 by 720 or 640 by 480 if you want to save space. So this is the backlight for the screen. So if we're in the sun, we need to brighten that up. We can do that. Or if it's dark out and it's blinding us, we can turn that down. Now let's go with about the default. We can change the language. We can format the card. We can see what the SD capacity is. So right now we got 29 gigabytes capacity and zero gigabytes full. You can see the version of the software and back to the top. So nice and simple. That is excellent. And I really like how nice this thing packs up. Like with most inspection cameras, they have those long cables on them. Like you just, I end up just like grabbing it and just mashing it together and shoving it in and then zipping up the case. But this thing, it actually packs up nice and neat. That's just one of the benefits of having a shorter cable. So this is something that normally you can't see without taking apart the whole wall. But now, like, if there's something going on in there, if I'm hearing a clunking, I can actually just look. And look at that. Being able to rotate, that is just such a huge game changer. That is incredible. If I can, yeah, I can kind of rotate it like this, get it kind of an up and down. That is awesome. So in this hole, we got an access port for a motor, so we can take a wrench and we can put it on there and we can actually spin it. But if I needed to look at the side of the motor, even if I had a scope and I could push it in that way, I wouldn't really be able to get it to curve. I could kind of pre-curve it, but it would take a lot of effort. Well, this guy, I can put that in straight. You can see the motor there. Get that off to the side and just turn it. And now I can see the side of the motor. So that, that is just cool. So yeah, that is an awesome tool. Surprisingly nice.